What's up? What's up? What's up, Scorpio? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, and damn deed to let you know what the energies are surrounding you mid month August, the 15th through the 31st. Shout out to every last one of you guys that send love and light and that click this video. Thank you so much for the support and the love and light. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, my booking page is down. So you can still use it to check the menu out in regards to the menu selections and pricings but if you want to contact me for a reading send me a message on instagram you will see my instagram link on the about page you will also see my booking page where you can check the menu out in regards to pricing and the type of readings that you can book and select all of that information is on my about page so if you want to book a reading with me check the menu out contact me on um Instagram send me a private message if you don't have an Instagram you can send me a message on Google Hangouts it's an easy app to download only thing you need is my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll send you the payment method of your choice it could either be PayPal or Cash App and we can go from there and we can have the reading right then and there okay so as long as you're available and I got time and, and, and we gonna do it you know what I'm saying so everything is everything so y'all just contact me in regards to um booking until I get my page all up and popping okay so if there's any one of these videos resonating if the spirit moves you if you want to support first off support by hitting that like button if the video resonates and if you feel uh, moved to do anything more um you can check out my Amazon wish list which is on my about page as well my cash app as well as my paypal so you know however the spirit moves you if you want to um send some support go ahead and thank you so much and we do have a new deck right here which is can you guys see it no let me oh no ain't gonna let me move it we have the music oracle deck which we will be using which is a new deck that got here by way of the support that you guys sent so again thank you guys so much for the love and light let's get into the energy for my scorpios Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for Scorpio. Thank you so much for elevating us, keeping us moving, keeping us moving. And, you know, we are the light. We are the darkness, Father God. Man, I know for sure I've had a tired moment, but I allowed this tired moment to bring the best out of me. I feel, you know, some Scorpios, we we perform the best under pressure sometimes. It's kind of messed up, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm smelling victory, you guys. Y'all smell it? Let me, hold on. I'm smelling, I smell victory, you guys. I smell victory, Father God, and we claim it. And I claim it over all of our lives, Father God. I'm smelling and I taste victory. And I taste and I smell success, Father God. Thank you so much for pushing us. Because, you know, pressure creates diamonds in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come forth today, Father God. Thank you so much for uplifting us. Thank you so much for gifting us with the wisdom and the courage to fight through. And, you know... We built for a tough, and it's because of you. And we thank you every day, Father God. Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons and the past, present, and future. Thank you for everything that you've been giving us currently. Everything that we have, it might not be much at times, you know, because we've been receiving some things. We've been losing other things, but we got everything that we need at all times. You always provide and make sure all resources are covered. And we appreciate you for it, Father. Um, Thank you so much for all of the blessings that we've yet to receive, Father God. And thank you so much for always being right there whenever we need to fall to our knees to ever praise you or ask for help. You're always there. And we thank you so much, Father God. Thank you for keeping us prepared for our blessings. Thank you so much. Let's give us guidance for my Scorpios mid-August. Thank you. All right. Let's see what type of music is going on in our life, you guys. Y'all, this Oracle deck is amazing. I am so glad that I was spiritually led to get this because I said I have my musical um, playing card deck. I needed something to go with it. I like things to like flow together. So, ooh. Oh, Bob Dylan and Beyonce, honey. Beyonce. Come on, God. Come on. Let's see what this here got to say. Bob Dylan, you guys. It says nostalgia is for two-time losers. Oh, 
Don't mistake that mansion on the hill for paradise. Darkness may be falling, but we ain't dead yet, okay? All right? Nostalgia is for two-time losers. So if it bit you before, don't allow it to bitch, bite you again. It's like, don't mistake that mansion on the hill for paradise. <sighs> that means so much. And you see the boxing gloves, all of this music stuff. The peace sign in Highway 61. That represents travel. That represents music. Like you got to continue to move to the beat of your own drum. And you got to continue fighting and going on your path and on your journey. Like don't stop where you're going. Where you're headed. Because you got your rose colored glasses. You don't put them same rose colored glasses on that got you through the bullshit that you went through before nostalgia you know what i'm saying thinking of something from yesteryears and how good it was and everything but only thinking about the good pieces of it you know what i'm saying and you know mistaking that mansion for paradise paradise is within you is wherever you go you understand what i'm saying it's not in a place it's not in a person it's not in a thing it's within you it's wherever you go you know like I said, the darkness may be falling, but we not there yet. You understand? We done got our way out the damn darkness, so <laughs> we ain't got time for that. Beyonce, the queen, B, honey. Come on, girl. What you got to say, B? It says, confidence can be the most powerful aphrodisiac. Be both everywhere and nowhere at once. When someone sings from the heart, don't go tone deaf. Ooh. Okay, I'm reloading, bitch. <laughs> Look, okay, I'm reloading, bitch. Yes, yes, queen. Yes, queen, you see how she got her bat in her hand? Yes, confidence can be the most powerful aphrodisiac. Be both everywhere and nowhere at once. That says so much to me. Continue to move forth with confidence. You know how you so far away, but your presence is still lingering back there. You know what I'm saying? People are still feeling your sting. <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> oh, bitch, I reloaded. Do you understand? Do you understand what she's saying with the bat in your in her hands? Can't beat that with a bat. You can get with this or you can get with that. Okay? You know how Scorpio is. It is no middle ground with us. You can get with this or you can get with that. Can't beat that with a bat. That's that confidence, baby. Did you leave something in the dust and people is feeling that sting of your presence not being there and your presence not being there is your presence being everywhere. <laughs> Come on, Scorpio. We're not about to do this. It says when someone sings from the heart, don't go tone deaf. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Didn't I tell y'all I'm loving this cause? I'm loving these cause, girl. Come on. It is your world, Scorpio. Is this how we about to do this today? <laughs> Confidence is the most powerful aphrodisiac. Be both everywhere and nowhere at once. Okay? Nostalgia is for two-time losers. Don't mistake that mansion on the hill for paradise. Darkness may be falling, but we not there yet. Uh-uh, honey. Scorpio, we are the darkness and we are the light, honey. We are the storm. And we done already came through the storm. Huh. And when we sing these notes from our heart, we hope these hoes don't go tone deaf. Come on. Be on sight. <laughs> Give me guidance for my Scorpio. Y'all got me on one. Give me guidance for my Scorpio mid-office. Thank you so much. What is this? Okay, so you guys, we packing up. We moving. But we moving, we moving triumphantly forward. Okay. 
Like I said, we didn't experience some terrible moments. A lot of you guys, wherever your homes are, it looks like some of us, we might be moving. Okay? Hopefully, we're selling, collecting those coins, and we're moving forward triumphantly. How many of y'all just sold a home? Okay? How, much, how many of y'all just cashed the fuck out? Okay? Sold your home. Put some money. In your chariot, a nice hefty penny. <laughs> Not a penny, some racks. Rack city. How many racks city out on a hoe? Okay? See, people thought we were taking a loss. Oh no, baby. Because we won't we won't we <laughs> Oh no, honey. We ain't take no loss, baby. Because we the boss, baby. It can't be that with a bad. You can't ride out like this, okay? See, things that other people would allow them to tear them down. We use that as our triumph and our victory to show you how to do it like ain't none other ever did it in, uh, in your life. You thought that was a fall? No, uh-uh. We about to show you how to take something, <laughs> take nothing and turn it into something. Take a fault and turn it into a blessing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Take your weakness and turn it into your strength in the name of the Lord. Moving forward emotionally comfortable within yourself. Look, you see how he holding his heart? You sure about yourself. You know exactly what you do. Listen. Taking a step back to take two steps forward. Because you see the little boy taking... You know, taking the coin out of the pot. Let's see what we got. What else is coming? Mid-August. Yeah. Exactly. This is a situation where it's like you're cutting your losses. You're moving forward and you're realizing that you're not going to be able to get... You're not going to be able to reach a ten of pentacles and wherever the situation this this could be in business. This could be and like I said, this could have something to do with your home. You understand? Maybe you started to do some renovations on your home or whatever. And then you seen like the price value in the neighborhood start to decrease and. You was like, maybe I ain't I ain't about to invest all that money in this. You know what I'm saying? I just feel more better if I just cut my losses and get what I can and just keep it moving because I don't have the patience to sit back and wait for this investment to 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 flip this investment. You feel like it could have possibly been a bad investment if you wait too long. So study long, study wrong. This is someone that knows in their heart that they're making a better decision to not sit back and wait and to just cut their losses and to keep it moving. I definitely see something. Page of Swords. Most definitely. This is someone taking a smart approach. Going back and studying and looking and searching and reevaluating their assets, reevaluating. This could, this could be someone searching for like a new job, searching for, uh, this is someone searching for information, searching for information before they move forward to kind of know how they going to, what they need to cut out, how they going to use their sword. It's like people approaching too. I feel like you're surveying the land. You're surveying the land before other people could come and like put a bid on it. Yeah, you're moving. You're moving. You're most definitely moving. You and your family are moving. Queen of Cups. You guys are definitely moving. What is this? Ace of Cups. This has to do with a big move. This has to do with a big move. A big move. And it's like, it's not even a, you're not taking risk. You're definitely, you are most definitely um, 
researching and studying the area that you're about to move to before you even plant a seed there, anything like that. You needed to get your mind right before you packed you and your family up and you get this help and the aid and the, uh, you understand what I'm saying? I think you guys wanted to make sure that these other people were going to come to help you. Maybe you're researching and studying these people to make sure that they're okay people to work with, okay people to trust, you know, a sword of someone being a, a judge of character, you know. You researched and you studied these people and these people came through. They did come to help you and they reached, they reached you and they got you to the other side. And here you are sitting comfortable in your new foundation as the Queen of Cups, completely emotionally stable, able to love again and we start i feel like this is someone that cut their losses wherever they were cashed out okay that could be selling a home you could have sold your business you could have uh emptied out your savings account to move forward <laughs> you understand because you were patient you weren't Feeling like being patient, waiting for things to work out where you were. You knew in your heart. Let me take my investment out and just figure this out mentally and get a plan together. And I know I know what I'm where I'm going is best for me. And it is best for you. It is. It's like you just have a brand new start in love and life. You feel emotionally stable. It's about your emotional stability and peace and peace. Like you're given a second chance at peace and of life and of love. Hmm. Give me guidance. Yeah. This Kylie Minogue, this three of hearts. This is you are loving yourself all over again. I feel like a rebirth, a rejuvenation in love. But this is like in self-love. You see, like how you're reaching your arms up. I feel like a lot of you guys have reinvented yourself. Reinvented yourself. What is this here? Yes, Diana Ross, the boss. Like I told you, you just took boss moves, okay? You just made boss moves with this eight of clubs. This eight of clubs is big communication and big business. Clubs is... A supervisor at work. This is like uh, a sports leader. Like um, this is someone that is like the leader of a cheerleading squad or the leader of a like a um, sorority or something like that. Like she's very action oriented. She's the communicator. She's the boss. You know. <laughs> she gets the job done. She's a thought, you know, she's a person of authority. The boss. Diana Ross, the boss. You have made boss moves. What is this? The Joker. The two of spades. Who is this? Robert Plant. And then the Joker. So this is why you had to, you you knew you had to move the two of spades right here. The two of spades is you literally did have a joker like someone that was stagnating you. Some something where someone was playing with fire with you. You know, this person kind of like I don't I'm seeing this. Uh, let me call you back. Let me call. Okay, anyway. This person, I feel like, kind of has this, like, rocker lifestyle, like, sex, drugs, and rock and roll um, with this Robert Plant and with this Joker card that I'm getting right here. I feel like you just didn't have any faith in this thing, like, really amounting to anything going forward because this person wasn't loyal. This person used to anger you a lot. It was, it was just, like, a lot of frustrations and fighting where it just puts you in a point where it's like either I'm going to have to accept this sex, drugs, and rock, rock and roll lifestyle how this person is or <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to move forward and I don't, you just didn't have any faith in that. I don't think that that was that's not where your heart is. Like you love yourself too much. You think too much of yourself. You have too much going for you. 
especially if two finances and career and I feel like this situation I feel like you gave too much of yourself to this joker you gave too much of yourself to this joker and maybe just the environment period you might have felt was toxic and you just cut this shit out so this could be a divorce this could most definitely be a divorce and y'all selling your house and you completely relocating I'm definitely seeing you relocating to a place that you love where you feel more abundantly Jesus Christ <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> y'all, my phone just blowing, y'all, my phone blowing. Anyway, let me just um clarify for you guys real quick. The three of hearts, the three of hearts, love, beauty, happiness, new love, relationship, a love triangle. If surrounded by spades, it does have spades down there. Creative talent, artistic ability, um. Fertility, blood, life, prayer, religion, a growing embryo, an increase of something beautiful such as blooming flowers, a developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. So I don't think that anyone is pregnant here. I don't think that anyone's pregnant here because I'm seeing too much. I'm not, I don't, I don't see anything right here. And then I'm seeing these, no. I don't think anyone is pregnant. I definitely don't think anyone is pregnant here. Um. Let me tell you about Miss Diana Ross, the boss. The eight of clubs represents your day-to-day -day activities, your daily routine. It indicates someone and how they spend their time. Most people spend a great part of their day working. So this is the work card. It can represent your job, what someone does for a living. It can denote working something out. Um, it can also represent business or social sharing and reciprocation it can indicate conversations discussions meetings conferences seminars symposiums forums roundtable discussions etc 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 so like i said diana ross the boss she were making boss moves and i definitely feel like you've been elevating and you've been loving yourself and you've been focusing on your work and it's to a space right here like i said this is not a good card this represents this joker that clearly was in your life. The two of space traditionally represents conflict, disagreements, betrayal, arguments, anger, resentment, holding a grudge, vindictiveness, violence, bad news, a removal, a separation, something sharp, pointed, teeth, ice. Okay? The joker, you already know what the fool in the reverse means. That means stagnation and moving forward, lack of faith. Lack of hope, uh, no freedom, you know, restriction, you know, not being able to move forth in faith. And you guys realized I needed to cut my losses. I need to focus on loving myself and focusing on my job and making boss moves. And you made a decision to cut out and move forward because you ain't got time to be waiting for nobody. Ain't, you don't have no time to be waiting on no fools. <laughs> you don't have no time to be waiting on no fools. Study long, study wrong. <laughs> you study and you realize that that is better for me to move forward. Let's get some guidance right here on this Ace of Cups and this Queen of Cups and this Six of Swords. Your confidence. Your confidence took you everywhere. Everywhere you needed to be, you trusted yourself. Listen, <laughs> happy is shit. Four of clubs. I feel like you were in a place of serendipity, bitch. Hold on, I ain't used that word in like never. I'm hearing serendipity. <laughs> like you are in the most happiest and joyous. This is someone that's kind of having like financial success and victory in regards to career. Um, you know, when you feel better. You do better. You understand what I'm saying? When you feel stable, it flows throughout your life. It, it, it's a vibration. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's a pure fucking vibration of tranquility, serendipity, and happiness ever since that you made this move. Like, <laughs> you see these rose-colored glasses? I really do feel like you're in love with your environments. Like, in your environments. I feel like you're able to live your life and, and live in color. You just feel, I just really feel you feel tranquil and refreshed. Let's see what that four of clubs mean. You guys, if any of you guys are scared to move, don't be scared. 
<laughs> don't be scared. I know we don't like change. Listen, this says stability in business matters. Reliable social contacts. Practical foundation. Stable conditions. Laying foundation for future progress. Stable business environment. Using good business sense. The four walls of a business room. The four legs of a table. A working table or the social table. A four-wheel vehicle, a coach, a car, a truck, a cart, a baby carriage, a trip by car, verbal communication, a telephone call, voice message, and video chat. You guys, if you guys were packing up and moving and you felt like, listen, look, let me sell this house. Let me, let me. Snatch up my assets, whatever it is that I, I can regain from this house or whatever. Let me cut. <laughs> you understand? I know in my heart if I move forward that I can invest this money and I, I'll be victorious somewhere else. Just let me just let me study. Let me watch. Let me make sure I can get the adequate help that I need. People that's going to help me move and talk this over with a few investors just to make sure that I can be able to flip this money. And I can find me a good job over here. And y'all might be moving somewhere near some water. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, y'all, I just, I'm feeling so, I love this. It's like y'all confidence. Y'all confidence. If you trust in you made a very good investment. You made a very big, good business move because you knew that if you waited too long, you might lose more. And you gain it was better for you to just cut your losses right now. Having love and a financial move and a business, you sold your business, you got out of a relationship right in the nick of time, and now you're happy. The sun, the sun is shining like oh my goodness, like it is rejuvenation. I'm seeing victory. I'm seeing you being born, reborn. Like you had a vision. Like you guys had a vision that things would be better. Fish. Like this is wealth. This is prosperity. This is abundance. Oh my God. Y'all. The stork. New birth. Like new birth. Yo. Come on. The newness change, new beginning, transformation. Oh, this is also a card of pregnancy. Oh, who y'all get pregnant by? Y'all might be getting some dick, 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 dick. <laughs> dick -a -la -de -a. I still have no idea who I stole that from. I don't know who started doing that, but God bless you because that shit is hilarious. Let's see over here. Give me guidance in regards to. Oh, I'm loving this. Y'all, let me read from the book, y'all. Let me read from the book. So, oh, that's the wrong book. 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 So, let me see here. 31. All right. The sun. Insight, victory, happiness, success, spirit, grandeur, confidence, fame, glory, ego, well-being, vitality, charisma, illumination, power, energy, radiance, Resolution, success or victory in a situation. The fish, money, finances, wealth, increase, indulges, desires, wishes, luxury, excess, excess, commerce, trade, exchange, entrepreneur, independence, elusive water. <laughs> the stock. Come on, listen, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all better come forth in victory. I hope y'all going off in them goddamn comments in the chat, bitch. I hope y'all going off. The store, beginning, change, transition, newness, birth, pregnancy, announcement, evolution, progression, balance, giving, inspirational, momentous occasions, and announcements of a new beginning. Come forth, Father, and let, <laughs> let there be victory. Shout forth, okay? Combination of the scorpions. Okay, come on. Come on. Give me guidance. Ooh. Give me guidance about this store. Camp. Everything. What it is. Ooh, the anchor, honey. This anchor. And this shit's about to be permanent. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Honey, you about to reach your goal. Your pocket's about to be on swole. Okay. Ooh. Oh, y'all. Ah! I'm 
getting excited. Are y'all getting excited, y'all? I've been waiting for a reading like this for Scorpio. Like, come on, y'all. Come on. Let forth in victory. Come on, Father God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Father. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to tell you, don't nobody come to a bad situation like a Scorpio. Motherfuckers will be like, um, look, courage. Come on. Nah. Come on, sunshine. Rain down on me. Look. Grew through the mud. Through, grew through that concrete. Rain down on me. Strength. Come through, strength. Come on. Come on. Yes. <sighs> Boy. Listen, we can't slow down. We can't slow down. We got to keep going. We got to keep going. God told us this victory coming forth. Like I told you, I feel like a lot of us, we lost something big. We lost something big. And then we got laziness here. <laughs> this is like, okay, 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 okay. Because... This laziness, this is the nine of cups. This is being emotionally fulfilled and you laying back and you enjoying too much. But you see, it's like this person is laying back on glass and it's cracking. So it's like you need to get up a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? It's time to, like, don't be sitting back like a fat rat. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Victory is here, you guys. Victory is here. Get your feet out the door. Okay? Okay? Get ready for overflow. Listen, it's listen. It's this song that I heard on the radio. It go, um, eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard the kind of blessings, the kind of blessings that's about to fall on me. Cause victory is here. Get your feet out the door. Cause God's bringing a new day. Get ready for overflow. Cause I'm getting ready to see something I never seen. You know. I'm getting ready to see something I've never seen. Get ready for overflow, God. Listen, because I, cause I, I, I want to bust out and like really sing it, but I just don't. I don't have the energy to do it. Something that would have destroyed other people. About to lose a home. Your marriage going down. Y'all losing a job. Y'all took y'all courage and y'all grew from the mud. Y'all took something that was the hardest thing that you possibly could have ever experienced in your life and you didn't allow yourself to suffer you didn't allow yourself to wallow you grew through that pain and you grew triumphantly you grew stronger than you listen i'm getting ready to see something i've never seen do you understand what i'm saying get ready for overflow do you hear me y'all oh my god i'm about to start crying like i'm dead ass serious Eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard the kind of blessings. Like, we can't slow down, Scorpio. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to get up. You got to get up. It's not time to relax. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the victory that is about to come through to us is something that the world is not ready for. They're not prepared for, but they need to see this because if we can do this shit the way we about to do this shit god's plan god's plan victory through the worst situation that you ever been through in your life and you're gonna come out oh my god blessed and so highly favored listen it says confidence can be the most powerful aphrodisiac to be everywhere and nowhere all at once when someone sings from the heart, don't go tone deaf. They might not have heard you before, but they ain't going to have a chance but to receive you. Receive you. Do you understand? Receive you. Because when you have that confidence in yourself, listen, when you have that confidence in yourself and you know how to just cut your fucking losses and believe in yourself and know that victory is here and God will lead us asunder. Do you understand? Listen, cut your losses. Look, he ain't one ain't greedy. Just took one pinnacle and went on about their way and just ain't even wait. You understand? Didn't even wait. Didn't wait. 
I'm getting ready for overflow. <laughs> I know where I'm going. I'm smart enough to look and see. I'm smart enough to plan and get help and ask Jesus to help me. He, he led me here and I'm victorious. But you can't be lazy. When you get there, you're going to have everything that you want. But you can't be lazy. You still got to work. You still, you still have to work once you get there. Give me one more card after lazy. Damn, I really want to sing that song. What is this? Traveling. Yes. Rapid communication. This is the Eight of Wands. Get ready for overflow. Get ready for overflow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God going to make me sing this song, and I'm not even trying to do it. Anyway, so let's get into the love portion, you guys. Let's get into the love portion, okay? Because I ain't even trying to do all that. I really can't. Mm -hmm. All right, give me guidance for my lovers, my single, my single lovers. It's going to be rapid communication, and it's going to be some traveling. Me guidance for my singles. It says, Watch out, shit could get ugly. What? And on the back, it says, You're being shady. Woo! Who being shady? What? Ooh. Okay, let's find out what you what you talking about, Willis. What you talking about, Willis? It says, Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change the world, so do it. Ooh. Ooh. Shit could get ugly. Watch out. Shit could be ugly because you being shady. Stop fucking whining about something, Scorpio. It says, get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Ooh. Help people. Give back. Do Good shit for humanity. Ooh. Spirit is racking into someone's ass, honey. It says, you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Don't just use it for dumb shit. Ooh. Oh, my God. Spirit, is you talking to me? Oh, Patty Betty. God damn. Why? Because I ain't want to sing this song. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> that oh, damn. Ooh. You was just, ooh. Shit. Okay. I'm reloading. Clutch my pearls. Okay? Y'all, did y'all see that? Y'all see that? Oh! Oh! Okay, let's get some further inf investigation in regards to love. Okay, they said we's out here being shady boots. Out here being shady boots. Okay? You so talented for good. I ain't no punta. I keep my panties clean. Ooh, what is this? The seven of wands. Oh my God. Somebody is like, bitch, you better shut up. Like you out here talking too much, causing too much drama and too much conflict. What? Bitch, you need to stop running your motherfucking mouth. Ooh, who been running their mouth about the dick? Who been out here running their mouth about the dick? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. What? Ooh. I feel like the queen of swords is watching y'all. So, ooh, what? 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 I feel like, y'all know, for real, for real, I'm about to run it down like dead ass. I feel like there is some Queen of Swords that might be watching y'all, Scorpio. Number one, you talking too much about something. This could be something online. And it's like, you is saying stop fucking whining and complaining. Like, I feel like you whining and complaining about something. Something sexual, something about something sexual, okay? 
And I feel like there's somebody most definitely watching you and that is paying attention to every word you're saying. And this dude is like, bitch, shut the fuck up because you being hot. But whoever this person is watching you, this person done fell in love with you. They got some like little secret little likings for you. Like maybe they, they ain't coming to it liking you like that because they were trying to figure out what you were saying because you was dropping some tea he he about he he he. You was dropping tea he he about he he he. Who was on the line talking shit about their ex? And maybe the person that they fucking with now, okay? Uh, she was like, what the fuck is you talking Oh, bitch, you kind of cute. Like, oh, damn, bitch, you looking kind of succulent. I see why he was fucking with you, bitch. You. I'm liking her. Ooh. What? Ooh. Let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. What's going on? What's going on? Ooh, let's see what's going on, y'all. What the fuck is going on? Look at this court. What is going on? I really do feel like young. It's some woman that's been watching y'all. That's possibly an air sign. What is that? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that might be having some type of... But they're watching you because of the information that you're putting out online. They're listening to shit that you're saying and whatever it is just add online. Whoever it was, some dude with a penis... Don't like what you talk about. They're like, bitch, shut the fuck up. What the fuck is you talking, bitch? Say, say it again. Say it again. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy. Give me guidance about the seven of wands. And, oh. Oh. This is a married couple. Mm, you might be causing some conflict in regards to someone's commitment. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what you doing, Scorpio? Ooh, I know this ain't me. <laughs> Ooh, honey. You might be making it your job. To... <laughs> no, let me stop. So you, look, you're giving them despair. Oh, <laughs> God. Lord, girl, what you been telling me? What you been telling them about your ex and them? What you been telling about your ex online, Scorpio? Cause look, didn't they say up there? Look, watch out, she can get ugly. Cause you being shady boots. You being shady boots, girl. It is your world, but maybe not, girl. Stop telling them business. Stop telling them business. This man said, "Bitch, shut the fuck up. You don't know how I'm married, bitch. Shut your motherfucker." <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. Let me stop. Did you make it an occupation to drive these niggas? This nigga crazy. You said nigga. Nigga. Because <laughs> this nigga wasn't hiring. Because this nigga. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You made it your job. Okay? No, let me stop. Okay, no. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I'm telling the dead ass truth. That's what the fuck I'm getting. <laughs> fuck. Brada. Baby mother, be a mother to your child. <laughs> Don't ever let your child feel like it's not worthwhile. That's an inside joke. <laughs> Me and my best friend, we always sing that song. <laughs> Holy moly donut shop. Give me, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, okay, yes, father. I, I will, okay, hold on. It says, when you pass from this earth and this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories that you have shared with those that you've loved. Okay? 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 And then it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Create room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay? Y'all need to reach deep inside your soul and let this, whichever Scorpio, because that ain't me. I know that ain't me. So, like, whichever Scorpio, oh, and then it says right here, okay, it says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point on trying to change that which is beyond our control. So, it's like, if this person is married, they're in a commitment, like, don't spend your energy trying to make their life a living hell, and clearly, it's like, you tried to do that, but ended up getting a female admirer. Seems like it to me. Um, so, like, you thought you might have been doing something to make the bitch mad, and the bitch want want to what? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Is there anything else here? Let me see if I missed something. Okay, we got that. We got that. We got that. We got that. I think we got just about everything. Okay, no. Let me give y'all the, the messages from because whoever this person is, did you to piss this person off? Let's see what this person got to say to you. What does this person that is want the Scorpio to be quiet? What do what what do they have to say? Cause spirit is trying to tell you to use your talents for good. Like don't 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 do that. What is this saying? What's this? It says I keep comparing you to others. Oh well, that's a personal problem. Why why are you doing? I keep holding on. <laughs> this is so come here. I keep holding on. Hold it on, face ass. Get your ass out of here, boy. Get that shit out of here, son. Anyway, let's. <laughs> Let's get the fuck on over here to my couples. To my Scorpio couple. <laughs> hey, Father, y'all got me cutting them over here like I'm on the live, Father. In the name of Jesus. Louisa. What's going on with my Scorpio couples? Lordy. Holy moly, don't it chop. It said, just say those five little words. Okay? Just say those little five little words. You decide where to eat. What? Okay, whatever, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean, bitch. Okay, what the fuck? Y'all fussing over going to Taco Bell or something? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, nigga? Nigga, okay. It says, trust, share your crazy ass dreams, wishes, and passions. Okay, bear your soul to your partner. Come on, let forth be value within yourself. Speak out your heart and let it be free. Come on. Come on, Jesus. Give them guidance. Give them guidance. It says, oh, you're playing with fire. Ouch. Check yourself. Oh, for you wreck yourself. You better let your heart, you better speak forth your heart and let it be golden. Okay? You better live your life like it's golden, Jill Scott. Okay? And whatever you want, stop holding yourself back and thinking somebody got to read your damn mind and shit. If you want to go to Taco Bell and raise hell in the bathroom later, bitch, just say, nigga, I want to go to Taco Bell. Okay? I like that nasty ass shit, bitch. I just want to go, okay? Yeah, I know I'm playing with fire. I'm going to have butt burn later, but goddamn. Just tell the nigga where you want to go. Look, I like Taco Bell, okay? Shit. It's my ass. It's my belly, okay? Shit. Trust and let forth you what, what you want in your heart and let it be golden within yourself, okay? Shit. Okay? Fuck. <laughs> Get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I can't do this with Scorpio no more. Because y'all playing. Y'all playing too fucking much, my nigga. Oh, my God. With this love segment, we cannot. Okay, let's hold on. Let's hold on. I keep holding on. Face ass nigga. Face ass nigga. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm reloading. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm dipping it low. Someone dipping it low and spreading it wide. Hold on. Who out here got the lovers? Who been dipping it low and spreading it wide? Who been out here dipping it? Ooh, what? And you eating the poom tang too? You eating the pussy? They eating the cat. See, it's one thing if you cheat on a motherfucker, but you cheating on a mother and you eating pussy? And you eating pussy? Nigga, I'll punch you in your motherfucker by cuspid, bitch. I will fuck you up. What? What? Uh-uh, someone, what? Uh-uh, you see this? Y'all see that call? Someone getting caught up. Bow, bow, bow. Yes. Bow, bow, bow. It's me again. Bow, bow. <laughs> and I'm back. Bow, bow. <laughs> Woo! Uh, 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 creep. Okay, bitch. Who was on the creep? Bitch. Who had the pump hanger? Ooh, the king of swords. The king of swords was giving them the Lord ding ling swing all of all of in the Neville regions. In the Neville regions. Say he beat the devil region. Beat it, beat it up. What? You see how fat daddy was all up in the caddy? You see how fat daddy was all up in them guts? He said, don't think a fat nigga can't give you some motherfucking wood. How much wood chuck chuck of a wood chuck could bitch you about to see today? What? Fat Daddy had the caddy all up in sugar. Look at her. 
her. She's like, hey, I saw, oh, I'm happy, poppy. He's like, you, what? What? Fat daddy said, I will show you. I will, I will slang some dick all up in them guts. What? Hey, y'all, I cannot with these fucking cards. Fat daddy is giving the dick. If y'all don't fucking with a Gemini, I just heard a Gemini. If y'all fucking with a Gemini, Scorpio, he been out here laying pipe like Wesley Snipes. Okay. Tweet, tweet. Okay, yes. He's been out there. Tweet, tweet. He's been tweet, tweeting. Okay, bitch. You might want to check his tag. You might listen. Because you already know how Scorpios is. Y'all will go and check them emails and shit and the motherfucking messages. Fat Daddy been in the caddy. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, yeah, that's where his money been going. That's why he been so broke, honey. Ooh, look at her. Look how she laid up. And he like her with a full bush. Ooh, full bush and some cush. What? He been getting some full bush and some cush, bitch. He been smoking bubble yum cush. Do they sell bubble yum? Is that, a, is, that, is that a such thing? I don't know. I feel like this nigga be smoking some bubble gum cush, okay, and eating some fur bush. He be eating fur burgers. I talk, listen. Listen to me. That's why he don't want to kiss you no more. He's a whore. Girl. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not. I the fuck don't. Ma'am. Hold on. Miss Pam. Hold on, Miss Pam. That's fine. Miss Pam. Miss Pam. Miss motherfucking Pam. Let's find out what's going on. And the lovers, that's a Gemini too. Ooh, what you trying to do? <laughs> What's going on with the Gemini? My, 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 Gemini, what you doing, girl? This is Horizon, yeah, this gonna come out very soon. Honey, this about to, this shit about to come right in, this about to dock right into your motherfucking driveway, bitch. It's about to dock right there. Boop, boop. Yes. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so if you be, pay attention if y'all be hearing like someone just laying on the horn outside y'all apartment and shit like that burr, burr, burr. bitch what is this ooh adjudication mm. very soon you gonna have to make some fucking decisions you gonna have to make some hard decisions where it's going to affect it's, it's gonna come down to some legal shit like for real yeah, some legal shit is about to affect your family room very, very soon. Mm. Mm. And in the love, ooh, mm, 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 mm. Someone, mm, mm, mm. There you go. Use a hoe. Oh, use a hoe. I said that use a hoe. Oh, use a hoe. Oh. Who is fucking with a Gemini that's on the whole stroke? Okay, it says, look deep within and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as an ocean. Really, bitch. Really? 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 Really now. Really now. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one of that, of that both supports and challenges. Oh, really? Really? Look at his face. So we supposed to help balance you and you out here being a hoe on a scroll? And I Dios me Do you see her face? She's like, hold on. Do you see her? Do you see this? Ain't you eating cat? Let me hurry up and get the fuck up out of here because I ain't even about to do this. Let's find out what the fuck is going on in the mind of this person because I ain't about to do this right now, Scorpio. And you not. Where the fuck not? Fuck you even balance deep. Look deep within your heart and just feel my love. You gonna feel my foot up your ass cavity. That's what you gonna feel. Miss, that's what you gonna feel. My foot all the way hung up your ass cavity. That's what you gonna feel. You gonna be choking up shoelaces. You ever throw up and it come out the right, the wrong uh, spout, it came out, you ever throw up and it came out your nose? Yeah, my shoe cavities, uh, my my foot hanging up your shoe cavity is going to come out the right, the wrong, and the right one is going to be coming out your nose. My shoelace is going to be coming out your nose. It's supposed to come out your throat, but it came up wrong, and it's going to come. You understand what I'm saying? No, because I'm serious. Okay, I'm sorry. 
This person said, I just got caught up in the moment. Oh, really? Now, did you? Did did you? Okay, we're going to punch him in his throat. We're going to. It says, I will make it right between us one day. Oh, really? Oh, we're going to punch him right in his throat. What? Girl, okay, let's get up out of here because I ain't even about to do this, y'all. Scorpio, I'm not about to do this right now. You we, we, Girl. Y'all. Bye.